Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 66, The Cuckoo's Calling, by Robert Galbraith. The characters were very real and very awesome. I loved the main character in this book. I wanted to love this book, and I certainly loved parts of it, but overall, I was bored through most of it. I'm not saying I won't read the next book in the series, because I honestly care about and really like the main characters, but I'll be reading it hopeful that more will happen in the story. The end of the book was satisfying and fun to read, and the beginning where we got to know the characters and their situations was great. The middle just sagged for me. It was pretty much Strike, that's the main character, interviewing people, and that's it. A whole bunch of conversations. After a while, it got old. Even still, I enjoyed getting to know the characters more. Also. There were like a million F-bombs in this book. I'm all for an author using language to realistically portray a character, and I suppose that's what the language did in this novel, but man, sometimes it was like two per sentence. It was ridiculous. While the story tended to drag in the middle, the writing was very good. The portrayal of the characters was awesome, and I really do want to know what Cormoran Strike and his awesome assistant Robin will be up to in the book. It was a good mystery. I just wish there would have been more going on to get me through Act 2. I read through all the Harry Potter books this year. Uh, As an aside, this review was written back in 2015, where January through April, I read through all seven of the Harry Potter books for the first time. Ah, and they were amazing. All right, back to the review. I read through all the Harry Potter books this year for the first time on the last four books, and J.K. Rowling, uh, as another aside, this novel is written with a pseudonym of Robert Galbraith, but it was actually written by the author of the Harry Potter novels, J.K. Rowling. And now back to that review. I read through all the Harry Potter books this year for the first time on the last four books, and J.K. Rowling has fast become one of my favorite authors. But in this one, she went a little flat. It was still a good book and has a lot of great moments. I was smiling, laughing out loud, and almost crying through the last act of the story. It wrapped up nicely, and Rowling nailed the ending. Hopefully book two will have a better act two. I'm still on board for the next one, and will be reading it. All right, well, I've got some great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast. If you're a huge Harry Potter fan like me and you just want some more writing by J.K. Rowling, then you probably already know this, but Robert Galbraith, who wrote this mystery called The Cuckoo's Calling, is actually J.K. Rowling. And you can get The Cuckoo's Calling, Cormoran Strike, for free just because you're checking out this podcast. And The Cuckoo's Calling is narrated by Robert Glenister, who did a fantastic job. He had a great voice for the narration and for the main character, Cormoran Strike, who's a really cool character, by the way. Very much noir detective in modern England. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of any audiobook of your choice, and they have pretty much all of them. But this week, I'm recommending The Cuckoo's Calling. A lot of people really love this one. As I'm looking at the reviews on Audible, it has 4.5 out of 5 stars and 18,721 reviews. So (laughs) that just gives you an indication. And I really did like it. And I actually do really want to read the second book, and I will be. Actually, I already have the paperback. Like I said, the middle was just a little hard to get through, but really well written and I really liked the characters. 
And I think that is what one of her biggest strengths is, is writing characters that you get really invested in. I think that's even more the case of why people love the Harry Potter novels than the fact that there's all the cool magic and the story world all around it. That definitely makes it really fun and makes you want to get immersed into the world. But really, we all read because we love the characters. Anyways, audibletrial.com slash Reviews for your free audiobook and a free 30-day trial of their awesome service. I'm an Audible member myself, and that's how I get through my long commutes, by listening to audiobooks. I love it. Check it out, The Cuckoo's Calling, as a free audiobook. And when you do that, you help support the show. So thank you, and thanks to Audible. Now, let's get back to that review. Alright, you guys may have heard, a long time ago I said, I have so many book reviews written that I'll probably never catch up to the reviews that I have recently written from finishing books. So I was only going to pick books that I just absolutely loved. But I chose this one for a few reasons. This year, for Christmas, I got my oldest son, who turned nine this year, the very first Harry Potter novel. It turned him into a reader. He blazed through the first five books, and he started the sixth, but I told him he had to hold off because the last two books are, I think, just a little bit too intense for a nine-year-old. He's really bummed, but he's reading the Chronicles of Narnia and a bunch of other chapter books. So he's just waiting for me to give him the green light to read the sixth book. But anyways, a couple years ago I read through all seven for the first time. I've never reviewed Harry Potter on here, but man, I love those books. I'm reading through them again with my son, and so I'm on the sixth book right now, reading ahead of him. And man, I just can't get over how great they are. The storytelling, the characters, they're so amazing. For some reason, after reading them, I've never written a review. I don't know if it's just like I felt they were so good I couldn't review them. I don't know. It's kind of strange, because I always review books after reading them, but with the Harry Potter books, I just kind of... Maybe I just thought they were so good that I was just kind of in awe and I didn't know what to, how to put it into words. That sounds kind of ridiculous, but they really did amaze me. So anyway, if you've recently finished all the Harry Potter books and you just want more of her writing, even if it's totally different, and it is totally different, it is a book for adults with a lot of language, but it was very well written. And even though I was really bored through a lot of the middle of it, I still liked it enough that I want to read the second book, which says a lot that even though I was bored, she wrote characters that I liked so much that I still wanted to keep reading and want to read the next one. And like I said, the ending was amazing. She totally nailed it. So even if you do get a little bored through the middle, it is worth it to finish it because the ending was fantastic. All right. That's about all I got for you guys this week. Hope you guys are having an amazing summer of reading, getting through your stack of your summer reading list, and I'll talk to you next week. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Dan Dan the Art Man. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.